Hi guys, welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. We got a great one for you today. We got a full width, full screen hero slider with a Ken Burns effect. And for anybody that doesn't know, the Ken Burns effect there is a sort of zoom in, zoom out effect you're seeing on the background image. Fantastic thing to have on your website, really easy to do with Elementor. So let's get started. Either hit your Elementor button. I've actually got mine open here already. Let's go down, we'll delete this and we'll start from scratch. Okay, I've got my little widgets open here. You just need to click on your matrix if you haven't. We'll roll down. I'm looking for slides right here. There it is. I'm going to drag it and release it. Then there we are. By default, it puts in three little slides for you right there. You can go into each one. Just click on it. Choose whatever background you want. At the moment, it's got a color. I'm going to throw an image in there. You can decide whether you want to have the image cover, contain, or auto. I'm going to leave mine on cover so it covers the whole slide just like this one. I quite like the color of the text, but you can't really see it too well over that busy image. So I'm going to enable background overlay just down here. Puts a bit of a darker color on there so you can read that text nicely. You can change the color by clicking on it. Take the opacity up and down for less or more, or change the color of it if you want to. And for the actual Ken Burns effect, it's got it right here. Just need to switch it on and it'll start zooming in or zooming out. I think I might take that background color down just a little bit. So I'm going to click on the color, take the opacity just down a little bit so it'll lighten up. We can go back to it with our navigator here. I still want to be able to read that text well. Fantastic, that works for me. Next, we've got a content tab for each one. Of course, you're going to want to have different stuff on each one. I've got a little bit of info over here. I'm going to pop in the title. And a bit of content. And you can decide what you want your button to say right here. Click here is absolutely fine for that. And obviously, Put your link in right there. If you're linking to your own site, just leave it as it is. If you're linking off site, click the little gear, open it in a new tab. That way your site's going to stay open for you. Now each of these, I think I might take that down a bit. Can't really read that writing anymore. So if we go back to our background there, I did choose quite a busy picture. So I'm going to take that back down to about 50%. Let's roll back so we can see it. There we go, you can read that all a lot better now. Now each of these will let you style them any way you want. If you want to use custom styles for each slide, you can just flip this to on. And you can align the horizontal position of the text, left, center, right. I go back there, it's all right there. You can align it in middle, top, bottom, however you wish. And of course, you've got the text to align itself where you can align it left, right, center here. Obviously, left line, right line, and centered. I'm going to leave all of mine on the center for mine, but I'm going to do all mine at once. So I'm going to turn that off. But like I say, you can style them all individually. If we move on to slider number two now, let's give it a nice little image. And again, I'm going to turn the Ken Burns on. I we'll have a background overlay so I can read that writing a little bit better. And I might put the writing down the bottom for this particular one in content. Going to throw some content in there. Like I say, I think I might throw that down at the bottom so you can see her face better. But we're going to make this full width, full screen, so that might give it a bit more space there. I'll just decorate up this next slide, and we'll do that. 
slide number three here. Again, I'm going to put a little image in there. Let's put a darker image in this time. And we'll have the old Ken Burns there. And you can have it zooming in or zooming out with the Ken Burns effect. I've got a couple of each there. Down below in the slider options here, here's the time. At the moment, by default, it's taking five seconds or 5,000 milliseconds. You can change that right there. You can turn the auto play off if you don't want it to auto rotate like that. And at the moment, it's got arrows and dots for the navigation on the bottom there. You can have either or or none. I'm happy to leave it as all there. You can have it pause on hover. That's always a good good idea. That way, it'll give them a chance to read it and click on the call to actions buttons. But if you don't want that, you can turn that off. Same with pause on interaction. Infinite loop. Yeah, we want it to keep looping. So when it gets to the last slide, it'll come back to the first one again. And at the moment, it's on a slide transition. I'm going to turn it from slide to fade, I think. So it fades from one to the other rather than slides into it. And the time it takes to fade from one to another is half a second there. That works for me. Obviously, take it up for slower, take it down for quicker. At the moment, the content is animating it up. You can have it down, right, left, or zoom in. Let's pop it on zoom in just for fun. Well, I haven't put any content in that slide three. I quite like that zoom in. That's pretty cool. So let's go back to our little slides up here. And I'll quickly put some content in for slide three there. And like I say, you can style these all individually. Or we can do the group with the actual slider itself. So I'm happy with what's in the slides at the moment. We go to style, we can style it all at once. You've got a title here. You can change the font in typography or the text color. Spacing. I'm going to leave it just as it is. Same with the description. You can choose whatever font you want down here by clicking on typography. There's the font, size of it, weight of it, transform, style, etc. I'm happy for it to be on the default. But I will style up that button a bit. Let's perhaps make it a bit bigger, large, and border width. I'm going to take the border away, and I'm going to give it a color. I'm going to put a zero there to take it away. If you want rounded corners, you can put a border radius in there. I'm going to leave mine square. Text color is fine or white, but background type, I'm going to give it a color, I think. So I'm going to click on the little paintbrush. Here's the color. Let's make it a sort of crazy pink or something like that. By just clicking on the color slider, slide it up to where you want. Put it on whatever color you want. That's a pretty attention grabbing color. I'm going to take the opacity down just a little bit so we can see some of that image behind it. I think that's a nice effect. And we can set a completely different color on hover if you want to by clicking on the hover tab. Again, click on the color. Let's perhaps have it a blue or something like that. And again, I'll take the opacity down so we can see some image behind there. Yeah, that works for me. Great. Okay, if you want to style your navigation, the navigation is the arrows and the little dots down the bottom there. You can do so here. I'm happy for them to be the colors they are at the moment. That works for me. You can actually have them outside the slider if you want to. Little dots are there outside the slider. I'm going to keep those inside, I believe. Same with the arrows right here. If you want them outside, it'll pop them outside. They're white on white there. But I'm going to make this full width, full screen. So I really want them on the inside. But it is an option if you don't. Okay, well, let's style this up and make it full screen. We've got everything working for us now. To do that, I'm going to go into the actual section that it's in. I've got a spare section at the top. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to go into the section that we've got our slider in here. And under layout, it may be closed up. If it is, just hit the little chevron there. I'm going to go from box to full width. Well, we've got it the full width of the screen there, which is just exactly what we want. We've got a little gap, top, bottom, left and right. That's actually in the column. If we 
click on this little gray icon here. That's the column that it's in. We can go over to advanced, get rid of any padding. You always find margin and padding under advanced. I'll put a zero in there. As long as that chain is checked, it'll do all four at once. We've now got rid of that little bit of space there. Fantastic. Great. Well, now that we've got rid of the space, we can make this thing full width, full screen. To do that, I'm going to go back into the slider itself, the little pink icon on the right hand side there. Here it is right here. And the content, we've got height. I'm going to change it from a pixel value to VH, which stands for vertical height. I'm going to put in 100. And that'll make it 100% of the screen height, whatever device you're looking at. But what we've got to take into consideration is there's a nav bar at the top here. So it's taking that in. If I roll this down a bit, you'll see there's that much space on the bottom here. So that's fine if that's what you want. But I want mine to be dead central here. So I'm going to take that down to about 90. That just gives us a bit of working room for this. And you can adjust it with the little arrows if you want to. Until it's exactly the size you want. I think that works for me. And if you want to, you can click on the little desktop type icon there. And you can change it for tablet and mobile. Great. Well, our little slide is working now. It's full width. It's rotating. We can read that text and click on the button. Let's save our draft or publish if you're ready. And we'll take a look on the front end. And here we are. Here's our first slide. It's got that nice Ken Burns effect. It's going to roll into the next one. If we put our mouse over it, it'll pause. It'll wait until we're finished looking at what we're looking at. We can click on the button. If we take our mouse off now, it'll start rolling again. And we're in the next one. Of course, we can also navigate with the little arrows here. And we've got pagination dots right on the bottom there. You can also navigate with those if you want to. So there you go, guys. There's how to create a nice full screen, full width slider with the Elementor page builder. Really nice eye catching thing to have on your site, especially with that little Ken Burns effect. It really does add a little something to it, makes it more interesting for your users. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a little demo video just like this one. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.